Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham, and next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time for our tale of the tape. Joe Calzaghe, 183 centimeters tall with a reach of 185. And he'll be facing the Big Mac, Enzo Macronelli, six foot four inches tall with a 74.4 inch reach. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm. It's no wonder they call him the pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghe. You are looking at an absolute legend, the longest reigning super middleweight champion in boxing history, spanning over 10 years, defending against 20 opponents. Enzo the Big Mac Macronelli, an Italian that fights out of Swansea, United Kingdom. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, presenting the renowned unified world champion with a remarkable undefeated career, introducing the two-division champion of the world and boxing's pride of Wales, Please welcome Joe, the Italian Dragon, Calzaghe. Fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Swansea in Wales, here is a cruiserweight world a champion, the very popular Enzo, Big Mac Macaroni. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. Good luck. We're expecting an all-action slugfest. Nice job landing with that right-hand count. Quick punch scores. Just misses with that jab. Why aren't they defending? Boxing fans around the world feel like Christmas morning with these two finally in the ring. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the head. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Cards are going to be all over the place in this one. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too. Here we go, it's round two. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. 
How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over brawn. Ball in the match door. Pop, jab, move. Get the mind here. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither man really defending themselves. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. Punch lands. Fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. That punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging could be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Let's get it started in round three. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Still swinging with nothing left. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. There's a scoring blow. from each other and then run right back into trouble. He misses with that jab. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can... Oh, and that changes everything! And down they go! like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Good news from Macronelli. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You're being put down, you've got to think right. So five and then give it back the next round. Here's the bell to start round four. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in score for Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does not, I'll be very, very surprised. Macarinelli got caught. As he weathered the storm. A much better game plan here. And score that left hand. Macarinelli. Enzo couldn't take anymore, and down he goes. 
halfway through the round, and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Macronelli might go down here. Oh, I heard that little by Sully. That one lands. Coming up aces here, but can he seal the deal? As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown's going to be we just saw. Time for the fifth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What's a knockdown? You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you go out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know he won't shake your leg directly. And that's it, away from getting stopped. best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden he's going to be gassing himself out trying to get that shot and that's when he catch you. This fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Going for the finish here, his opponent with his guard up. And down goes the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8. There's the bell for round six. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, this is good. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. for another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night-night. 